So, your character has arms. That's good. They like that. But now they want to move them. Nothing's ever good enough for you. Okay, first, let's add an armature. Line it up so it makes sense. This is not a weight painting tutorial, so just select automatic weights. Yay, it moves. Now we get a little more complicated, so pay attention. Tab into edit mode and duplicate the bones. Move them to a new layer. Press Alt W and turn off deforms. These will be our FK bones. Rename them to avoid confusion. Now duplicate the bones again and move them to a new layer. These will be our IK bones. Don't forget those names. Extrude from the wrist to create our IK control. Alt P to remove parent. In pose mode, select your control first and your lower arm second. Control Shift C to add a constraint. Change chain link to two. It works! But how do we switch back and forth? Go to pose mode and move the bones like this so we have a little space to work with. Now, select your FK bone first and your deform bone second. Control Shift C. Copy transforms. Nice! Turn off those constraints. Do the same thing to the IK bones. Nice! To make a switch control, select your root bone. If your rig doesn't have one, it should. Make it. Give it a custom property. Give it a name. Check library override. Now we can see it in the 3D viewport. Copy the data path. Go back to your bone constraint. Add a new driver. Now open up the driver editor. Change settings to average value, single property, select armature, and paste your data path. Now copy the driver and paste it into the other constraint. Final step. Hide your first constraint. Then press A to select everything. Now scale on the Y axis by negative one and bam, you have a working IKFK switch. Well, almost. Copy those drivers to the other bones. Make sure to keep them separate. Top go on top and bottom go on bottom. To do a second arm, just symmetrize. Make a new slider and edit the drivers. Or don't have a one arm character. Accidents happen. At least he has one working arm.